It's not about the people you meet, it's about the ones you ate along the way. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Bones and All. I liked the concept of this movie from the initial trailer. I thought that it had this ideology, this kind of simplicity to it that felt like a Stephen King story that he hadn't written. The film follows Marin, who is this young teenage girl. Seems like she's been going from one place to the next, not really having a steady home. Her dad and her are always on the move, and the reason why, and it's quite early revealed, because she has a liking for human flesh. She is a cannibal, not that she wants to be, but she has to be. After having a little bit too hard of a suck on a girl's finger, her and her dad go on the run, and then in the end her dad is just done with dealing with her, and he leaves her a tape recording and goes off and she has to figure out her own way through the world. And then it turns into this road trip where she meets different people along the way, people who are like her, which are named Eaters. The first one being Mark Roland's named Sully, who introduces her to the ideologies of what it is, while also being probably the creepiest version of the old death guy from Family Guy. Oh, it's Sully. Oh, no, you don't trust old Sully, don't you? Oh, have you ever had any of the old people meet? It's actually not too bad. Come on, come on down to Sully's all-you-can-eat buffet. Mark's performance in this movie is very good. It's very creepy. It's very endearing. It's like this grandfather figure that you kind of feel that you want to like, but at the same time, you know that he's done some shit and you just feel icky. He plays this character masterfully and he introduces Marin uh, to the world and how it is and what it's like to be like them. I got rules. Never, never, ever ate an eater. And that's when the movie really comes into this road trip bit of them kind of figuring out the world of what it is, eating some people along the way, meeting some others that are like them, that are a little bit weird. I wanted to like this movie. I liked the concept. I liked who was in it. I liked how it was being portrayed. I do have issues with it though. One of my firsts being the length. This movie is two hours and 20 minutes long and it has almost no right whatsoever to be this long. To put it into perspective, I watched uh, The Empty Man when I got home. That movie is the exact same amount of time. It had a much better pacing than this film did. There's quite a bit that you could trim from this film. There's quite a bit of moments where they are just showing stuff. It almost goes into Terrence Malick territory of showing pretty pictures for the sake of showing pretty pictures. Performances by everyone in this film are fantastic. Taylor Russell does a great job. Timothy Chalamet does a great job. Mark Rollins does a great job. Those are really the only three main characters in this film. There are a few people who they meet who are also interesting. There isn't a bad performance in this whole movie. That's definitely to be said. The cinematography is also very nice. I like how how they were able to find basically every single shitty town that they could to film in. Not only are the towns kind of crappy, but the buildings are also falling apart. Paint chipped away, pieces of the structure are coming apart. It definitely puts itself in this time era with the Reagan era. It takes place in the 80s. You just kind of feel this dis descent, this lacking of any kind of uh, upkeep. It's they're very much so on the outskirts of these states. They're not going into any of the big populated areas. These are the areas that are still away from the modern era of technology and whatnot. And then that's it. That's kind of where my praises for the movie ends because as I said, the length is far too long. The ending is gonna piss you off. Now, apparently this was based off of a novel. Uh, someone said it was a young adult novel. I cannot confirm that, but part of me kind of wonders maybe the novel might do a better job of what it's portraying than the actual film does. There are little bits in this movie that I do enjoy, but the amount of time that it takes to get to those moments is far too long for one to sit through. The lacking importance of a lot of the scenes in this film. Understandably, road trip movies, kind of a dime a dozen, but there are good road trip movies and there are bad road trip movies. You have to make every kind of place that they go to matter. You have to have every moment matters. On paper, yes, most of these places do matter. There are a few locations they go to that I like what happened there, but the amount of time that it takes for those scenes to come about is it's crippling people. This runtime is crippling. And then the ending. The ending, some people might like it, I fucking hated it. I thought that if you were gonna have this much time, why didn't you spend more of it in the, on the end? It feels like they literally try to wrap up everything in 
by five minutes in one fucking room feels unearned. There is something that happens before the ending that the ending completely demitigates. It completely gets rid of the point of what was previously done. And the scene that happened earlier on was a very good scene. It was a very character developing scene. And the ending just shits on it. I wanted to like Bones and all. I like the cinematography. I like the acting. I like the concept, but I really do feel that the concept is what will get you in the movie and it's what they had as an idea, but then they didn't really know how to go forward with it. If the book is this fucking bland, I would probably not want to read it either. In the end, I'm going to give Bones and All a 3 out of 7. I was honestly super, super surprised because the amount of good notes I was hearing about this movie, the lot of good, like, goodwill, good thoughts about it, I was surprised that when it came to the ending, I'm like, how did people like this? How is this so well liked? But I have noticed that since I've seen it and since it initially came out, the ratings have gone down a little bit since then. It's unfortunate too, because like I said, it was a story, it feels like a story that Stephen King could have written, but he didn't. And to be honest, he probably would have done a lot better job. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about this movie. What did you think? Have you seen the, I almost said the empty man. Uh, have you seen Bones and all? What did you think? Was the finger looking good or were you kind of spitting out your mouth too? Anyways, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, See you guys next time.